Hello everybody, here we are with John Collins once again at the Training Centre in Birmingham. A short demonstration with QTEC instruments today, we're looking at the QTEC KT64DL. So here it comes, it's in a soft caddy case. You've got the case there for the accessories, which are your free crocodile clips, your free straight probes. You've also got your remote probe with the test button there, and the free colour coordinated leads. Any issues, you can always refer to the operations manual. So the tester itself then, turn it on, wait for it to pop on. You'll know you've got the rotary dial, and a useful good feature about this, it's in the sequence of testing. This little button here is your backlight, so you can press that. And we start off doing our continuity testing. The F1 button tells you how to do the null, so what you do is if you want to let your lead, you simply put it onto that, shorter mouse, and press that button for nulling. 200 milliamp auto ranging, and it does give you an audible warning if you're on a live circuit. Insulation resistance. By pressing the F4 button, we can do it to 250, 500, or 1000 volts. And again, it gives you an audible warning when it's doing the test. Important point to note here is once you've done the test, you must leave the probes connected so it discharges the voltage. Now, for both of those, we've got the orange button there where we can just push and release to do the test or we can push and twist in for constant testing mode. If it's awkward to reach places, you can use the remote probe there with a little test button on it. Coming round to our first live test, which is our loop testing, we can do it on the ATT setting, which is anti-trip technology, which is used where you've got very low value for protective devices, six amps for example, or really for RCDs. And what it does, it bypasses the RCD at 30 milliamps or greater, not tripping it. If you're not on an RCD, you don't need the ATT on, and you can simply switch it off by pressing the F2. An important point though, it's normally set at ATT for default, so if you're not testing an RCD, you need to press the F2, so you don't have to do it that way. Moving round to our fault current testing, unlike other testers which display the actual current at the same time as doing a ZE or a ZS, it's a separate test, remember the earth conductor is reconnected once you've done your ZE, so never write down those values because that'd be wrong. Your tester here, we can do it in by pressing the F1 button there, we can do it either to earth or to neutral, simply by pressing the F1 button. The highest measured value, folks, remember, is your IPF value. On to RCDs, this will test between 10 milliamp and 1000 milliamps, that's one amp. RCDs, different types, and all you've got to simply do you scroll through for the settings. If you're doing it in auto mode, when it's in auto mode, all the results will be displayed on one screen, so there's no need to scroll through. You simply put it in auto, reset the RCD when it's tripped, and look at the screen on there for your results. And finally, your voltage. Standard voltage measurement on there, but it's really useful because I like to use it in conjunction with the touch voltage there. And there you have your KT64DL, remember. When you finish using your tester on site, unlike some of the testers, it's got a little lid on there to protect the case and protect the tester. And there you have it, folks, the KT64DL.